Hello everybody, welcome back to Feed the Beast. Alright. Uh, today we've got something awesome planned. Setting up a new building in Palando Isle. But I just wanted to quickly show you some changes. Uh, I've been using the bees and the effects of bees to breed some new trees. This is a hill cherry, uh, hill cherry tree. And this is a silver lime tree. And I'm currently trying to breed them together to create these common walnut saplings and uh, I'll just show you if we go over here oh, whoops this is a tree -alizer. it's basically a bee -alizer, but for trees uh, bonk. Girth. two by two so we need four of these saplings before we can actually grow one and yeah that's that's proving to be very annoying I did literally just get my fourth sapling I got it right out of here and um I analyzed it in the bealizer and it was correct it was a common walnut sapling and then when I closed the analyzer it threw the sapling out in front of me and as it landed it disappeared I tried relogging I tried coming back but nope it's gone but um we'll get into bee uh, tree breeding in another episode um but yeah a couple of other changes I've done is over here with my bee machine setup uh, I've put these gates on, I say, hey, when this machine can work, give off a redstone signal, which then powers the block next to it, which powers the uh, energy cell, which is then enabled high, so then it outputs energy, and that has automated everything just lovely jubbly. Uh, so, yeah. Right, today, as I said, oh no, there's one more thing I want to show you. Whoopsie! Next thing I want to show you is over at the power plant. Ta-da! Alex and I went a bit crazy the other day. Well, actually, it's been a work in progress for a long while, um, but we're getting it set up. <laughs> I put an awesome thunderbolt at the fr front of it, and it looks cool. I love it. Yep, here is the power plant, and this, this is all of our fuel. 6,600 buckets of it. And back here is our refinery section and this took a while this is actually the third version because the other two exploded uh, um but yeah here we have an ender tank and uh this these colors are just temporary it's just orange 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 because that's the color of the wall i used to craft it with and what we do is we can then pump oil into this tank remotely using the ender tank which is awesome then this setup here is a refinery so if oil comes in along here goes into the refinery fills them up and down here we have liquiducts pulling the refined fuel out and the fuel first goes into these combustion engines which will fill them up with fuel um, and then any excess fuel will go into our fuel reserves up here and then of course these combustion engines here all go into an energy conduit which go into this redstone energy cell there are five here which produces at 30 millijoules per tick uh, plus there's a connection there so there's 5% lost so that's That's 0.6 millijoules lost. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's something. Um, but that's that's fine. That's cool. Uh, it charges up this energy cell quite quickly. And then uh, there's a gate here saying if you can store energy, redstone signal, which then powers this wire, which turns all the energies on, or engines on. And then we have some aqueous accumulators down there and over here for cooling. Keeps them running nice and cool. Okay, that's the bottom floor. And what we have, or what I have planned, because I'm doing all the power generation because Alex is doing other stuff. Um, over here, these these bees, these demonic bees, I've just got these down here just for the minute. They're, they're working, they're doing nice stuff. Uh, but they're temporarily down here. Over here, this section here, is going to be our Minecraft Jewels creation station. <laughs> um, which is where I'm going to put an array of engines. And I've got a design worked out, it's going to be really cool. There's going to be an array of engines which pull fuel directly out of this tank when needed and charge up an energy cell which then goes to both Alex's place and mine place. And then over here, I think it's just going to be the stairway up to the next area. So, floor number two. Boink. Very basic floor. We've just got a large giant iron tank here at the minute. Uh, the plan is over here to have uh, the demonic bees down there which you just saw. Uh, we're going to put them here have the centrifuge and the squeezer here which will then pump lava into this tank 
And then from this valve, we will draw lava out into an array of thermal generators and then have the cable go back down the center. And at the top here, we have our Blutricity generation plant. And this one's done, <laughs> basically. Um, we've got our windmill. Um, I'm not sure if it actually works when it's completely encased or not. There's not a way I can test it, really. Um, unless I get a machine which runs off Blutricity and try charging it up. Got any managers? There we go. I need. I, I'm gonna use managers for my sorting system as well because they just work so well. They're amazing. Uh, what? That was stupid. Why didn't I hook it up to the wire? <laughs> oh yeah, that's charging. But is it drawing it from the battery? Yes, it is. Um, oh, and it's night time, so I can't see if it's. Do so that's fully charged up. That battery is charging up, but I don't know if it's drawing it from the other batteries as well, so let's just break that for now. Night time! Yay! So yeah, that's charging it from this battery. Uh, let's go sleep quick. Ah, buggy! How Alex gets to his place if he dies and loses his jetpack? Aerial face plate! <laughs> Love it. Oh, those aerial face plates are amazing. They're from the portal gun mod. Of course, of course. Right. Now, where was I? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Whoop. So, yeah, it looks like it's still charging up, which is cool. It's just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's rotating. That's good. It's just when... Um, when this, this turbine kinetic generator doesn't have anything to charge up, it does what uh, it calls putting on its air brakes. And it just won't spin on its own, and it won't use up um, durability. Whee! Awesome. So if you don't know what the managers do, I kind of showed it in a video with Alex. But say if we take these, this chest, or these chests here, we can just shove it in this box. And it goes, punk! Because there's a manager behind here, it's saying, we only want this stuff in this chest. And there's a manager behind this one, saying we want all this stuff in this chest and eventually there we go it comes back in so they're really cool for automated systems right but today we are working on a new building and that building is the Palando Public Library yeah <laughs> it's gonna go round about here-ish and uh, it's gonna be a place for storing all of our enchantment books and also our new XP system, which I've worked very hard on, and it works absolutely flawlessly, because at the minute, this is our setup for XP. We use Turtlando, not Turtlando, um, Xperior here. Uh, and it's alright, you know, it, get, it gets us to level 30 and... Ooh, efficiency 4, that's not too bad. It gets us to level 30 quite quickly, but not quick enough for me, I'm impatient. But, yeah, the reason why we want a library is because look at all of these books. Especially these sharpness free books. So many sharpness free books. Uh, so that's why we want a library. So that's what I'm going to be building today. And I've got a design in mind. But what I'm going to do is work it out a little off camera. And I'll get back to you. So I will be right back. Alrighty guys, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, so this is what I've come up with so far, and uh, it's basically at the minute using vanilla blocks because I want to want to use micro blocks. Of course, some modded blocks can be micro blocked like marble and basalt, but this is what I've got so far. Uh, I'm gonna have a clock face there. It won't be functioning, of course. If they added a functioning clock face, then that would be awesome, rather than just an item frame with a clock in the middle. Uh, but I'm working on the front at the minute. Not a big fan of it. Uh, the materials I've used, uh, I might switch these to glass viewers or put some sort of like uh, a, a cross border sort of thingy pattern in there. Uh, front, I like the big chunky pillars which aren't quite full blocks. And you can see there, you can see a bit of a full block of wood poking out behind it. I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, I am attempting to copy a building from somewhere else. 
And uh, when it's finished, hopefully you guys will realise what it is, if you guys know what it is. But yeah, um, I like this whole uh, micro block do do dad here. Just realise I'm missing one though. So uh, yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I've been working on this for about mm, I'd say an hour. <laughs> um, uh, there's terraforming that needs to be done around it as well. Uh, I, I extended expanded it back to here uh, with these borders, but because uh, the actual building is like one block smaller because it's going along here. Oops! Wow, the misclick. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to need to expand it further back a, a lot more. But yeah, I've been working on this for about an hour. Uh, what I'm going to do is do a little bit more off camera. Because I'm going to take a break for a little bit. Um, figure out some things. Uh, I'm thinking of using a forestry wood for the planks instead. Because those aren't micro-blocked. So, actually, that's a good point. Here's one of the silver lime trees which I bred. I planted a bunch down here just in case I wanted to keep the saplings. So that's a good, good thing I did that. Uh, but yeah, they've got their own uh, planks. So I wanted to see what that looks like. Uh, it might look good because of the marble. But no, uh, the building I'm trying to recreate, it has darker wood. I don't want to use spruce because I've already used spruce over there. Uh, so I'll have to breed myself another tree or something. Um, I'll be interested to see what the common chestnut tree gives. But yep, this is the building so far. Uh, there's a lot of progress to be done. In the middle, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to check. Can you create? You can create stairs in that with them. So that's cool. Can you micro block them? No, I didn't think so. That was a really weird way of saying micro block. Can you micro block them? No. Uh, but yeah, these bookcases, really, really, really easy to make. I probably won't make them out of oak. I don't know, we'll see. But it's just some of that. And some of that. And something which people do, and I think this is a really silly thing, but what they do is they put, like, random junk in there, and it makes it look like the books are full. <laughs> you shift right-click things out of them, by the way. You sh oh, you can't shift-click things into them. Uh, but, yeah, the whole plan for this is uh, the floor will be half slabs. Uh, so, like that. And then we're going to have uh, probably spruce or another dark block. Hang on, no, not like that. Silly Dale. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Half slabs, not upside down half slabs. And then some sort of thing there. And then the bookcases like in a row along there for the different wings. Uh, I think that'll look cool. Uh, three stories high. I think I'm going to raise the floor up by one, so sort of have it. Yeah, whoop. Here, pick it all up. Sort of have it like that. Um, then have the entrance to the library sort of sunken down a bit. I think it'll look good. Uh, a lot of off camera work to be done, but I think this is a good height because then we could have. Uh, let's just create a bunch more of these slabs. Whoop. Bajow! Uh, so like that, like that, that, like that, and then we have some more of that, like there, uh, I need some more planks, the stack will do, oh, I really wish I had 1.5 crafting mechanics, let's create another bookcase, and then we, we have them like back to back, like that, uh, that way, no wasted space. Then we'd probably have. Ooh, oh, oh, hmm. This this will be interesting because we've got uh, two blocks here for the bookshelves. And I don't know how wide I want each corridor to be. Probably three blocks. Yeah, probably three blocks, and then two more blocks like that. Uh, I'll figure it out off camera, and I'll get back to you when I've made some more progress. So I will be right the back. Uh, Ho oh, ho, things have changed, haven't they? Yes, they have indeed. Raise the floor up, because the half slabs are going to go on this level. And then 
uh, like bookcases would then go on that level, then half slabs, etc., etc. As you can see, this this here is a kapok wooden plank, and I've got kapok wood and jungle wood is regular jungle wood. This actually here is walnut wood, and that's because I have been tree breeding. <laughs> um, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I may as well give a quick rundown now because it's very basic compared to bee breeding. All you do is you take a bunch of trees and you stick some beehives around them and the bees will go from the trees cross-pollinating. You see up there that leaf is a different colour. That means it is a mutated leaf. Oh, oh again. <laughs> you can break it usually and you've, you've got the same chance of dropping it as a um, regular leaf drop. Or you can use one of these here. This is a grafter. Uh, it's made using a piece of bronze and two sticks. Very cheap. And that guarantees a leaf drop. Now this mutation was... I know that's a crossbreed because this tree here is a teak. This one is a kapok. So that's either going to produce a teak hybrid, which this one is. If we use a tree -lizer, yeah, teak kapok hybrid. Or a kapok teak hybrid. Or the tree which we want uh, because that's the one I'm doing next it's in here the myrtle ebony or myrtle I just gonna call it a myrtle ebony um, so have a look through and see if there's any these these ones the leaves turn a bit brown I'll see if I can find one up there um, so it's not the easiest thing to spot there's another hybrid shwink um, uh, hang on, let's just ask Peter's on, see if he can sleep. Uh, can you sleep? Derpy face, cat face, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yep. Oh. <laughs> Good placement, creeper. Good placement, placement, placement. Uh, all the trees I've chopped down here because I was just doing that quickly to get some walnuts and chestnut trees for Peter because um, he he said he wanted a two by two tree in the middle, and they don't like uh, they don't like the jungle wood trees. So I was just like, hey, I'll make you some. Uh, attack! Oh, but some are really obvious to spot mutations like the hill cherry tree. They turn like bright red pink color oak saplings turn a bright green so yeah they're really easy to spot now you can see the changes i've made to the front of the library and i i'll be honest i really like the look of this the clock face up there there's nothing else really i can do to it i tried a different shape but it ended up being too big if i were to make it smaller then the stone bit faces out a bit weirdly but the idea for this is this is going to be where the enchanting room goes. Um, I kind of like it back here. I put some wooden covers at the back. And you can sort of see them sticking out a bit. I think that kind of looks cool, sort of like a, a, a scratch board or something you'd, you'd write down on. But this is going to be where we put the enchanting table. Uh, this will be the enchanting table, and there's 15 bookcases around there. And this will be a staircase down. Um, there's going to be like a smaller wing along here because obviously the bookcases, uh, the um, staircase is going to take up some space. And then we've got some larger wings down here for say like sharpness and efficiency because we get a lot of them. But yeah, this does some quick progress. I'm going to go again now uh, and work on it a bit more off screen. But this is what it's looking like so far. Really like it. And uh, I'll be right back with you once I've made a bit more progress. So I'll be right back. Okay, so check it out. Oops. We we are getting this done, and it's it's actually looking pretty cool. Uh, if I just switch to a different block, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we got the main carpet here, a cyan wool. And we've got the secondary carpet here as grey wool. And these are slabs I've used the handsaw to cut up. 
Uh, otherwise, you know, slabs do not exist. Um, I guess they kind of do in 1.6 because of the carpets. Or was that 1.5? I can't remember. Uh, but they're not full blocks. They're, they're hardly blocks at all. Um, still haven't decided what I'm doing with the entrance yet. I know it's going to be sunk down to this block. I'll probably do something like that. I don't know. I'll micro block it or something. It'll look cool. Uh, just a bit of fun facts for you here. We have seven shelves, as I'm calling them. Each of them are double sided, so we can put like a books, books in there, and also on this side as well. Um, give me them back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there are twelve on each side, so that's twenty four per shelf. Uh, making 24 times 7 is 120, 168 bookcases, which was a lot of wood. And each of them can hold 16 books. So 128 times 16, Alex worked it out earlier, something like 2,680 books. Um, which is a lot. I've also made the staircase going up. This, this is lime wood, it's not going to actually be made out of lime wood. And I've also installed the bookcases. There are 15, plus these little micro blocks here and here. Uh, but those, that one there, that one there, and that one doesn't actually count as a bookshelf because they're micro blocks. Uh, so only the one, two, three, four, five, fifteen actually go towards this enchanting table, which is all good and everything. So that was a bit of an update. Uh, I fixed the back window because that was wrong. There's a cow. You will be our receptionist. <laughs> Now, I've actually got a cool idea for what to put underneath the stairs, which I'll get to in a bit. But that was just a quick progress update. Uh, if you want to know how I've been getting the wool, I've, I've got the sheep here. And this chainsaw actually doubles up as a pair of shears. <laughs> so I am shearing sheep with a chainsaw. Uh, oh, there goes my, my handsaw. So I'm going to carry on building... Uh, I'm going to put in the windows, I'm going to sort out the floor 100%, and uh, just quickly before I do go, I'm going to give you an idea of how I'm going to label these. Uh, right here I have these items called labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the side, and these are really cool. If you click into them, you can specify blocks and stuff like this, and it will show the different blocks in the label. But if you do just one in the middle, it does a big version of that block which is awesome. So what I'm going to do is, because this this shelf down here is sort of on its own, we never get many enchantments which go on ones. So this is going to be where we have the enchantments for magic. Uh, so like um, frugal, treasure, potency, and one more? I can't remember. If I show you down here, this is where I got one from. Uh, frugal, Treasure, Potency, there's another one as well, but I forget which one it is. Um, so yeah, enchantments which go on ones will go on that aisle. And I'm going to figure out the rest because it's it's kind of tricky uh, to get the right balance. And once I've done that, I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. Oh, can't fit through the door. Welcome back. As you can see, changes. We've finished the floor. When I say we, I mean I. <laughs> uh, I've put labels on everything. I haven't labeled it up yet. Uh, but yeah, we've got the cyan and the grey done. It looks great. All the windows are in! Huzzah! Um, there's a chest there. Ignore that. That's just where I've been storing junk. Whoa! Hello, frame rate issues. Huh. It could be Wally's fault. Um, but I'm not sure. Probably not. Anyway... Uh, the little area down here is what I want to do next. I've got a really cool idea for this bit. Um, let's use some ebony stairs. I love the tree breeding, by the way. It's one of my favorite things about doing bees. Uh, yep, that'll do. Whoa. Bad frame rate for the lose. Uh, oh, there we go. Suddenly... Just all return to normal. So I don't know, maybe Wally was generating new areas or he was in the nether or something, I don't know. Pete, I know Peter's got a um 
uh, uh, um, what are they called? Chunk loader in the nether, because he's pumping up lava. Uh, we're planning to run off lava as well, but we've, we're, I showed you at the beginning of this video, I think it was the beginning of this video. I don't know, this video, I've been recording this video for... Four days? <laughs> I think it's when I started the library. But, yeah. So, this is what we've got so far. Um, it's looking pretty good. And this area down here is going to be the um, reception, so to speak. Um, I came up with a pretty cool idea. Each member on the server can have their own little bookshelf. I just realized that one's going to be in the way um, of the stairs. Well, I suppose we don't have to have stairs here, but each member can have their own little shelf. And on underneath... You can put a sign saying books reserved by Dale. And then you find a book you want and you can be like, uh, I I want to reserve that book and that book. And they'll pop up. And then uh, that's just so like if you're upstairs enchanting and uh, you don't have the tools you want to enchant on you, you can just put the books to the side and reserve them there. So that's why I've used shelves instead of bookcases because these only hold four items, you know. <laughs> if you were to hold, uh, use a bookcase then each person reserving 16 books is a bit expensive or like a bit a bit greedy. Because this is this is a public library, this is for anyone to use. My frame rate issues are back again, that's not bad. I'm just gonna try recycling the record. Oh, no, as soon as I say that, 25 frames a second. Good going. Right, so you may be asking, Dale, well, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's get my enthusiastic voice. Dale, how are you going to gain XP now that you're getting rid of Xperior the turtle? Well, my friends, that is a good question. And to that, I will answer with B power. Because you remember the... Did I just get rid of the... Yeah, I did. You remember the Edenic B, don't you? The one which gained, like, a little bit of levels? Well, I have been a very, very busy bee myself, and I have been creating these bees. Um, ignore the fact that it's an ocean bee. That, That's just what I labelled it as. Uh, so that I knew that when I finished creating them... Well, I, I, I labelled them as an ocean bee using a serum so that I knew that I'd finished. But if we take a look at them... They require cacti, that's because I started with a modest um, princess, uh, which was a big mistake on my part. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Um, I injected them with the Explorer Serum, which gives XP, and I injected them with the larger area from the Ender Bees, and if we look down here, I had to increase their tolerance <laughs> because they didn't like the area. Um, uh, because that was just up one, it wasn't up and down one, so they weren't happy with that. And they were only nocturnal, they didn't have fly and cave. Now if you want to create these bees, start off with a rocky one, because they are already at normal with a temperature tolerance up and down two, as well as the correct humidity. These are all already yeses, and they require rocks for the flowers. The reason why I chose modest was because they start off as cacti, and that's a big reason why we wanted to uh, have a specific flowering type on them. And that's because we don't want them to actually breed. We want them to be stuck in a permanent state of not breeding. So that's why I did that. Uh, now we've actually been using these for the past week or so. I set them up at um, Peter's area, Peter Wally and Planner's area, because they were... Um, they need some XP, and I thought I'd just give them a present. But as you can see, this bee is not dying because it will say that there's not a cactus nearby. We'll see that in a second. Hello? Hello? But all the other conditions need to be the same. Like, it needs to have the correct temperature and humidity. It needs to have the flyer and the um, rainfall. No, it needs to have flyer, cave, and nocturnal. I think those are the ones. Uh, but all the rest we can uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> let's just whack all these bees in here and you will see how awesome these things are 
You can see my XP level now. <laughs> it's just absolutely flying. Whew, I tell you, I, I spent ages and ages and ages breathing these. This was a combination of about three weeks getting all of these bees. Because I had so many serums, and if I would have started off with a rocky bee, I wouldn't have had to use all those serums. Uh, it was very power hungry. I think that was the most time consuming bit, getting all of the power. Uh, because we don't have a decent power setup yet. That's something I want to do. Not in the next video. The next video I've got something planned with Peter. And that's going to be... <laughs> oh, that's going to be hilarious. We're going to die so bad. Okay, so as you can see, we... I haven't even filled this these in and we're already up to level 30. And... Boom, all done. So ignore the particles, they'll eventually stop. But if you look, this says, hey, there's no flower. That's because there's a, not a cactus nearby. So the bee won't breathe, the health will stay at the top, and we still get all the XP. So what you can do is you can get a book out, chant at level 30, efficiency 3, great. And have a look at my levels. Look how quickly they go up. Now, I, I did a test to see how long it takes to get from level 0 to level 30, it takes 32 seconds. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, I need that back. It's it's awesome. Um, this is going to be... Anyone on the server can use this. You know, I don't mind. Um, if you want to donate your books to the library you get, which are junk, then do it. Uh, what I am going to do is uh, all of the... Yeah, let's put it there. I'm going to do all of the, like, um, let's see, look at that, already level 30. Treasure 2, awesome. And let's see how, how big the range is on this thing. So, of course, like, you, you're not getting the ones all the way back here when you're over here. You're only getting some of them, but you can go underneath. So you can just stand underneath here. Oh, it's great. So we're going to have an area down here where people can reserve books. Uh, if they want to. Um, only one shelf per user, because otherwise it's greedy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started moving all of those books over to the library. Uh, I'm going to finish the ceiling. I, don't, I like using these... Oops, that's the thing. Get stuck on these labels. These half slabs here, or the polished stone covers, I like them as a ceiling. They look cool as like a library ceiling. Uh, but this video is getting on. It's quite long. Oh, look. Level 30. I wonder how how high my level will... Oh, Repair 2! Oh, yes, I've been wanting to get one of them. Um, yeah, I wonder... Like, as I'm finishing off the library, like doing bits and bobs down here, filling up the books, I wonder what level I'll get to. It'll be pretty interesting to find out. Uh, but, yeah, I've got to finish off here. I've got to finish doing the roof. And... Uh, finish off the reception area down here. I'm going to have Xperior somewhere. In fact, that's... No, I was going to test to see if he actually sucks up the XP from these bees, but I don't really want to. I want to find a new home for the books, uh, because they're kind of crappy sitting there. I also want to put some anvils somewhere. Uh, I think it would be cool to have them up there, but I don't think they'd fit. Unless... I wonder if I put that along there. Let's go get the anvil and see if it fits. Shwink. So, uh, something which me and Peter will be doing next episode, I'll give you a hint. That's your hint. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that actually didn't turn out as sneaky as I thought it would. Yeah, that was a bit obvious, but there you go. That's what we're doing next video, or we're planning on doing. So let's just... Huh! I like that, that's cool. We've got a little shelf area now. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! What does that look like from the outside? If I dare go outside when it's dark. Oh dear, frame rate issue! It could be because my hard drive is nearly full. You see, you can't even see that from outside. That's awesome. So there we go guys, the library is complete! Well, the functioning bit of it is, anyway. Geez, still getting levels out here. That's insane. Oh, go in, go in. I will tidy this all up. 
and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Yeah, that's kind of sucky. Bye, guys.